With the roar of the Lionling tribe still ringing in their ears and the dust of the stampede settling around them, the remainders of the Zadari tribe found themselves in a new land. With the dry season upon them, it would be difficult to endure and survive, but at least the survivors had one another. So hello everyone, and welcome to the official beginning of the Zadari tribe. I am so excited to see where we are going to go from here because I actually have not seen our Zadaris. I did release a short little video kind of going through the Zadari guidelines in case you guys would like to check that out so you know what is happening. As always, we will have a link in the video description to the rules and the nature of the challenge that we have so that you guys will know what the rules are. Uh, but I will not be repeating them because I kind of talked myself to pieces making that little introduction video and hopefully we can go ahead and just dive right in. So it is the dry season and we will have to stay here for anywhere from 25 days or until the first stampede, which I am a little nervous about. We need to see if these survivors of the Zadari tribe have any horns amongst them. I have no idea because I actually haven't seen them yet. And if they don't, then we will be held up to the whims of the very first predator that we find. So hopefully we have some strong defensive Zadaris. Hopefully we have some good genes. Hopefully we have something interesting to work with. I haven't seen them yet. <gasps> oh, <gasps> horns, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Zadaris, what have you done? You're all boys. <laughs> okay guys, so here's our first challenge of beginning the Zadari herd. It seems that only little boys have survived. Um, only little boys and a couple, a couple adult males have survived from the herd being scattered by the Lionling tribe, who we may see one day in the future, and making their way across a crumbling land bridge to this Savannah Island. So, well, that was unexpected. Didn't end up with a single female at all. <laughs> But at least we have a couple really strong. Ooh, and this guy's actually got really strong defenses. This is fantastic. All right, we do have some good defenses, and we do have somebody who looks like he can feed us because he. Wow, this guy's actually amazing. He he is okay. We'll we'll go ahead and focus on this male first. I think he is the one, even though he doesn't have stripes, who really stands out to the tribe, and they may potentially see him as a leader, even if he can't really do a lot of attack himself because uh, he'd be too cowardly that's kind of the the gist of it is that he'd be too scared without horns but this is going to be Z we're just gonna go ahead and call him Z because he he definitely has the name all of them are currently named Z to just kind of I didn't know what they would turn out to be when I set this up in the sandbox but Z here is impressive <laughs> He has scorpion tail, he has toxic fangs. Uh, we will allow nichelings to attack a predator. If there is a horned nicheling there, it won't be an instant stampede. And we'll allow nichelings to attack a predator in self-defense, but they just won't chase him down the way that horned nichelings are expected to in the Zadari tribe. But Z here also has double digger's paw, which is going to hopefully be great and feed us on this island. He's got GNI immunity, super fertility. He is like ready for a female mate, holy cow. Uh, and he also has no horns, which is such a pity. You really need horns in order to have a lot of strength in this tribe. Uh, and he has recessive peacock tail, recessive toxic body and recessive sticky tongue. So he's kind of amazing, oh my gosh. But he would not be considered the leader of this tribe. That would fall to this guy, who has 25 days remaining, so he's kind of like a middle-aged adult, who does have horns. Uh, he's also got, ooh, recessive peacock tail as well. Big body recessive. He's got antlers and savannah horns. Ooh, he's got G&D immunity, super fertility. Wow, and we're gonna go ahead and name him, I'm gonna name him uh, Jara. So he's gonna be Jara. 
and he is currently the leader of the tribe because even more than stripes they do find those horns to be extremely important and i think Z jara would be quite surprised to find himself looking over nothing but males uh, left of the Zadari tribe, and that is definitely going to be a very, very short branch of the Zadari tribe if we don't find females soon. We also have one more little boy, uh, or excuse me, there's two little boys, one more male who has recessive bird beak, interesting, recessive peacock tail. I think we might end up with peacock tailed zebra, which was not the outcome I saw coming. A very high fertility, very high immunity, and oh, what are we going to name you, buddy? He can gather for cracking, which is good, uh, in case we run across any nuts. I'm not sure what there is to eat here on these islands. He kind of reminds me of the Flash, so I think I might name him, huh, maybe Zap. Yeah, we're going to name him Zap, because <laughs> he does kind of remind me of, like, a Kid Flash or something like that. And then we have two little ones. We have one... Teen. So the thing about the Zadaris are that based they're based off of zebras. When a zebra calf is born, it tries to get its hooves under itself and be off next to its mother pretty much as quickly as possible. When a zebra they, like they, they don't want to they don't want to linger they don't want to be babies in a nest or anything like that for very long because zebras don't have nests so uh, they're gonna be babies for only one day and then they will be children in teens for six days each so 12 days of their adolescence basically before they become an adult so they like spend a lot of time as a child a lot of time as a teen so they can move quickly but they won't be babies for very long this little guy has a and h immunity He's got hemophilia. He would have stinky tail, which would be really nice because that would naturally keep predators away. Uh, that might be something we really actively try to breed in is stinky tail because that could definitely protect us. Uh, he is, let's see, a velvet paw, strong cracker jaw. What am I gonna name you? Oh, and he's got the faintest little stripes. Ooh, viewed from behind, he actually has some really great markings. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name him Hmm. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Porcupine pins. I'm trying to think because he looks really cool, actually. I think we're going to name him Dre. Uh, well, I want to go with a lot of Z names. So if you guys have Z names, do please suggest them. We have Z, Zap, Jara. Uh, and let's go with Zoom, Zum, Zoo, Za. Zuki. Zuki. Let's go with Zuki. I like that. All right, Zuki for him. And then this tiny little guy. He has recessive stinky tail, recessive toxic body, which again, toxic body would be good too because that would encourage the predators to stay away naturally. So maybe we would never even see them and worry about a stampede. Uh, and he is a child and he, he literally is about to turn into a teen, which is really cool. Recessive ram horns, derp snout, A and B immunity. Everybody here has super high fertility. I hope I didn't forget to like change that. Oh, and he's got little stripes down his back like a little lemon. He is like a little lemon cake. Um, I think we'll name him Laws. Like Laws, 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 Laws. We'll just go with Laws like that. So, all right guys, the founders, all male, of our Zadari tribe. I made such complicated rules that it never occurred to me I could lose the tribe first thing just because we don't have any females. But the goals for now are simply to survive. We will try to find a reliable way to gather up food. We will try to gather as much grass as we can. And in this case, we are going to be searching for females and really crossing our fingers that we do not run into any predators. That could cause a major issue. So let's go ahead and settle in. Z, what can you do? So let's see. In fact, actually we should turn to Jara and I think he would, he's supposed to be the protector, so we'll let him go first. He has found a nest, and he has found food. The little ones can help to collect food. And Laws, you stay over here. I feel like Zap would try to encourage the little guy to stay out of the way. Ah, and there's actually food over here that they just found too. 
So Laws and Zap will stay together. And I feel like Z feels pretty confident because he has scorpion tail and toxic body. And he also, he can't gather, but he can dig. Oh, nice. And right away, he has already found some things to dig. So he wanders a little bit further than the rest. We're going to be able to be fine on food. I'm so relieved. <laughs> I really thought we were going to be like dead instantly from lack of food on the savannah because I've never really been here before. This is the one island I've not really played a lot on, but I think we're going to be okay. We just really need a female. So, oh, this is so cool. All right, there we go. Look at that. And Laws has already grown up a little bit. Oh, and he found a cactus. I mean, I guess we could eat a cactus if we really needed to. Zuki is going to come over and see what's going on. Jara, I think, is going to kind of clear this area, keep an eye on things. And I feel like Z is willing to go a little bit further to explore. Oh, wow. There are a lot more on savannas than I realized. Huh. Also, guys, we may stay on this island longer than 25 days. Um, the number of days per season, I might alter a little bit, uh, depending on how it goes while we play. So just know I, we're going to be here for a season. How long a season may be? Could be 25 days, might be a little longer. All right, well, let's see. Still plenty of food. And I think Jara might be willing to start exploring a little, but it's very hot. So all of our nichelings can't really do a lot of exploring. All right, and Z is, he's found a couple things. What was that? I think I saw something move over. Oh, 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 there's a mole, but these guys are herbivores. All right, Zap, I think, heard something move. So he might explore a little, even if he's kind of nervous about it. And Laws, don't pick off the berries from that cactus, please. So we need to find some females, guys. This is going to be tricky, and we might want to try to breed for lean body in the future. Because I think Zap... Oh, he's under the shade of a tree? That's a thing? That is so cool. You can get, like... Okay, I think that Jara would be, like, out of the way then. I had no idea you could be in the shade of a tree to, like, cool off. That's really fascinating. And Jara might kind of wander around a little bit to see how things are going there. I think the laws might just kind of set up shop between these two spots and help out. And I'm going to let Zap clear away these grasses to make sure they would want to make sure that space under the tree is safe. And Z... <gasps> termites! What? Oh, wow. So termites are going to be on the savanna too. That'll be really useful. Z will move around looking for food. We're going to be fine for food. I really thought we were going to starve to death here, but it's good to see what you actually would want to collect from. All right, we can't, unfortunately, get any food from those trees. I was really hoping we could. All right, let's clear the grass away while we're here. Because I want to make sure we can see. The more grass we clear away, the less likely a predator can sneak up on us, after all. All right. Nice! Z, do you want to kind of check out over here? There's a ton of food! Now we need females! <laughs> Jara? Let's see. That's an aggressive spot, so we don't want to... I'm going to let them go ahead and eat insects, actually. They are strict herbivores for the most part, but I will let them eat insects because I think that that is pretty fitting. They're just not, like, hardcore meat eaters. Nice. All right. Just females. <laughs> unexpected. Like, that would be a tragically unexpected end to the tribe if no females showed up. <laughs> oh, 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 what do we have here? More termite mounds. That's so interesting. I didn't expect the termite mounds. I kind of feel like Zuki and Zap might want to spend some time. Well, Zuki wouldn't be able to help out with the termite mounds because he would actually, <laughs> he would actually hurt the other nichelings who would try to lick it off of him. But I think Zap wants to investigate the termite mounds and spend a little bit of time Maybe trying to get some food from both of them. So we'll go ahead and call a little Laws over. He can clear this away and then we'll send him under the tree to rest for a second. Meanwhile, Z, he's pretty confident about his ability to wander a little further. 
I think Zuki might be feeling a little confident about the ability to wander further too. I think he really likes cactuses because they remind him of his own spikes. So we'll let him hang out with cactuses too. But jeez, I can't believe I made all these like complicated rules. I spent like days working on it for the Zadari tribe. And now the first problem I run into is actually a lack of females. And hmm, yeah, I wonder if 25 days is too soon for this tribe. But I guess that would be a good reason to move on is if we can't find any females, <laughs> we could start heading towards the rainy islands. All right, Z. Make sure to clear some of the grass behind you, Z, so it's easy to get back. And yeah, we'll want to try to definitely breed in some of the lean body so that it's easier to, and we'll clear away this grass, some of the lean body so that it is easier to be on this hot island when we are here. What? 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 Fire already? Are you kidding me? Okay, nobody but everybody panic. There is already a fire and I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Oh my gosh, Jara. Jara, if we were gonna look for the rainy like island, I think we might head towards the swamp land over here if we're trying to find a jungle. I mean, maybe we would move towards the deathly deadly looking thing, but I don't think so. So I think Jara scenting the fire on the wind we have to stay here for 25 days though. Scenting the fire on the wind would would let out a yell that they needed to move. Maybe that termite mound is about to save us. So everyone move. Like move out. We have to get away from that. Oh, that's such a dramatic twist. All right, grab the food while you can. Grab the food while you can while it's still there, guys. And then everybody scatter. I can't believe there's already fire. What is it going to do? I'm so, like, at least we have more food this direction. What the heck? I, I did check and unfortunately there is not a phoenix. <gasps> I heard a sneeze. Unfortunately, there is not a phoenix in this fire. I did roll, if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I mentioned in the overview and guidelines video that there are going to be phoenixes uh, from the Yukir Phoenix tribe, from the rise of the Phoenix tribe that we have, who we may meet and who may join our tribe when we have these fires. This particular time I checked and we did not, we did not find a phoenix waiting for us. I wish we did, though. That would have been so cool. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? There's already a predator? Yara! Oh my gosh! Are we gonna have to stampede, like, first thing? Are you kidding me? How am I even gonna move, 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 my little friends? Oh my gosh, it's a female with a peacock tail! Get in my tribe! Heather, welcome! Wow! Heather, you literally have five days left and you're about to get one of my best males sick if I leave you next to him. Why does this have to be so dramatic? Why are you, you like literally showed up just as you're about to pass away? Heather, look at your cute little ears though. What is even happening with your genes? You are just precious. What the heck, E and E immunity. So actually you would make a good mate with Z. This is amazing. I can't believe suddenly there is a female, there, suddenly there is like a barina, and we've got to flee. Heather, are you gonna like have a baby for us maybe? I think she here is here to mate with Z. <laughs> Too many things are happening. Oh, okay, okay, there is a lot happening right now, but I'm sure we can handle this just fine. Important thing to note number one, normally the tribe would absolutely stampede. The competing pressures of this fire having started and a barina right around the corner. Oh my gosh, is that a super barina? <gasps> I think that's a super barina. Okay, no, 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 it's a normal barina. Oh, I thought it was one of the super large barinas the way that like the outlines were looking. Okay, normally the competing pressures of those barinas and the fire would be enough to have a stampede, but thankfully we have Jara standing in the way. Hopefully he will be able to, to save the day and at least chase away the barina. Uh, we also have the three boys really struggling to kind of make their way through, get away from all of this. We have got Zach.
Zap Lodge and Zuki Laws and Zuki trying to get away. And now we have Heather, who has come in her final days as a sickly female to throw herself into the waiting arms of Z. And we're gonna go ahead and assign Z and Heather some mutations. They have no useful mutations! <laughs> ah, forgive me. I think having at least medium body might help us, to be honest. He has big body, she's got medium body. I mean, oh, we don't have anything unlocked yet. We don't have anything unlocked yet. Not some Savannah horns would be so useful. I wish we had Savannah horns, but we don't have anything unlocked this early into the adventures. And poor little Heather is only going to be alive for like a few minutes and we're not on a rainy island so we can't do cosmetics. Oh, the only thing, like, I, and of course we want horns, so I'm not gonna put no horns in there. Oh my gosh. Heather, okay, I can't give you any offensive or defensive genes and we can only assign offensive and defensive genes in the mutation menu when we happen to be on a Savannah Island, my friends. Everything else that, well, you know, Offensive and defensive could also include fertility. It could include uh, what kind of, it could include like what kind of uh, blood type immunity they have, but it definitely doesn't include anything we have unlocked right now. Hmm. Okay, Heather, we're gonna go ahead and have you become pregnant, jump to the left or to the right and make a nest <laughs> and have a baby like, Oh no, I think pregnancies last too long. I don't think she's gonna make it because I think pregnancies last a much longer time than normal <laughs> with the Zadari to be based off of zebra. So I think pregnancies last for like five days. So basically it's just a, a desperate last minute love that is not even going to be useful. Ah! I can't believe this. I wish I had changed that so they could just have babies like now. Zap's gonna jump on down. He's going to be quite confused about this kerfuffle. Zuki is going to go ahead. I'm gonna have him jump over here and grab some food and keep moving down too. Oh, what is even? This is just all so dramatic. There's the baby Barina. Ah, the Barina's coming for us. <laughs> Laws, run. Heather, oh, she is not going to make it, guys. Oh, I wish she could make it and have that baby, but it is not gonna happen. Z, I am so sorry that you had like this most tragic love story ever, but it's it's just not gonna work. Okay, Zap's gonna run. Laws is gonna run. He's gonna get out here too. Zuki is gonna run. Jara, unfortunately, he was like attacking this baby and oh, it's so brutal, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby Verena. That's just the way of the world too. Like it, it, with our Zara, with our, cause he'd grow up into a big Verena and with our Zadari tribe, any predators need to be eliminated to protect the tribe. Oh, he's already growing up. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, little one. You, you aren't friendly though. Oh, we did it. We took him out. We took him out. Heather died. The pregnancy was too much. Z's head is spinning. He can't believe this. The Barina is still here. Jara has defeated one of the predators though. The fire has actually gone out. What is happening? There's just so much happening. Why did the female have to die just as she showed up? I think that Z is going to try to make a bit of a stand for a second. Zap is going to try to like, he, he, he can jump up here. He's gonna try to make a bit of a stand too. These two, Zuki would, I think Zuki is nervous, but because he has spiky body, he might actually stay a little bit closer. And Laws is gonna run for it and be stunned to find that this poor female has already passed away. Holy cow, my head is spinning. <laughs> How is that only the first few moments of this tribe's life and they have 10 days here already? I might have to make the seasons 50 days. What do you guys think? I I mean, we could start our big journey to a new area, but how many days does it take to unlock Savannah Horns? Let's actually check out. It takes 30. So you know what? We're going to say that 30 days is going to be how long the, the seasons last here. Um... 
And that makes it, that makes sense because then that will give us time to like arrive here, have kind of a baby boom, just like the zebra do with the great migration. And then at the end of that baby boom, everybody should be old enough for the next stage of migration. So I think 30 days is better than 25. So we'll say about 30 days roughly for the, um, for each season, but wow. Okay. Well, we had a female, we lost her. We had a fire, it went out. We have a barina, we're gonna do our best. <laughs> and I need to catch my breath, but I hope you guys are enjoying. I know this is a much more complicated tribe than we usually follow, but as we carry on, I am sure we will start to make sense of it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for, for Z, whose heart has been broken and who needs to find a new mate. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.